the Good Shepherd, a reading from John 10 in the Bible. This is Jesus talking. I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. He who is a hired hand and not a shepherd, who doesn't own the sheep, sees the wolf coming, leaves the sheep and flees. The wolf snatches the sheep and scatters them. The hired hand flees because he is a hired hand and doesn't care for the sheep. I am the Good Shepherd. I know my own and I'm known by my own. Even as the Father knows me and I know the Father, I lay down my life for the sheep. Thinking about the Good Shepherd always reminds me of when I was younger. When I was growing up, my parents owned a cottage in Cumbria near the Lake District and we stayed there pretty much every school holiday. The cottage was located right in the middle of a working farm next to the yard and the farmhouse. As kids, we used to occasionally help the farmer with his children who were the same age as us. We helped with milking the cows, dipping the sheep, shearing the sheep, collecting the eggs and doing a whole host of other things, which was incredibly exciting at that sort of age. Um, the, work, the farmer worked incredibly hard and spent a lot of time with his sheep. He led them into the fells, between the fields to graze and to the farm when they needed dipping or shearing. He counted them all the time and seemed to know every one of his sheep and they knew him very much as well. It was astonishing. He had named them all and knew them individually. They would run to him as soon as he entered the field, but they wouldn't run to us when we went in. Instead, they'd sometimes chase us or run away from us. The farmer led, guided, fed, saved, protected, and washed his sheep frequently. Sheep and shepherd were everyday terms the audience Jesus was speaking to in the passage would understand. Jesus used this title of the Good Shepherd to help people appreciate that he was the loving, caring saviour of the world. In reflecting on this, we can perfectly understand the kind of relationship Jesus is referring to that existed between him and his followers. It's a relationship based on tenderness, understanding, mutual knowledge, dependence and love. He calls his sheep individually by their names, as he did to Peter, Andrew, James and John, and they followed him because they heard a voice that was the Saviour's voice. The sheep are an apt description of us. The Bible says that all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. We begin our life as sinners going astray and do things our own way, just like sheep who are far away from their shepherd. Those who were listening to Jesus would have pricked up their ears when they heard him describe himself as a shepherd. Because in the Old Testament, this frequently is um, an expression used of God. Jacob talks about God as the mighty God of Jacob, the shepherd, the stone of Israel. And in the Psalms, we read that the Lord is my shepherd. Therefore, when Jesus used the term shepherd, he was identifying himself with the God of the Old Testament, being the son of God in all his divine fullness. Jesus is the shepherd, the good one. He is loving and kind on every level. He is also perfectly sinless, um, having no blemish or flaw. Christ is the genuine shepherd, the good one, absolutely trustworthy and perfect. When we think about what he did for us, he certainly is a good shepherd. He gives his life, laying it down for the sake of his sheep. He couldn't be clearer than that. In his death, he became a voluntary sacrifice for sinners like us. He is the unique, unparalleled, incomparable son of God. And when he died on the cross, he was in full control of both the manner and the moment of his death. Jesus came to be our shepherd and he revealed his great love for us when he said, I am the good shepherd and the good shepherd lays down his life for his sheep. Christmas is a time when we celebrate the birth of Jesus, the saviour of the world, our good shepherd. The choice we have is to either follow him or not. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm going to finish now with a really short prayer. Okay, dear Lord Jesus, as we remember and celebrate your birth this Christmas time, we thank you that you are the good shepherd. You love and care for us and lay down your life for us so that we could have the right relationship with you. Thank you. Help us to remember the true meaning of Christmas and the ultimate sacrifice you made for us. Amen. Thank you. Have a great Christmas, everybody.